Roll and go. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Rhino, Ali, in the basement over there. Uh, this beer was sent to us from Guy. Guy of Drinking in Canada. Thank you very much, Guy. Oh, the wizard? The wizard, the French wizard sent the this French to us. French wizard. This is the Barrel Collection, or Barrique Collection. It's from St. Amboise, uh, McCloslin Brewing Company. It's 10.2% alcohol. It is their barrel-aged uh, Scotch Ale. What type of barrel? I don't fucking know. I'm going to guess whiskey. Uh, let's see if it it's says anything. Scotch Ale? What do you want to guess? You want, what, do you want, what do you want to guess? A barrel here. A Scotch Ale. No, oh, it doesn't say. Oh, wait. Bourbon barrels. There we go. There you go. Pale malt, crystal malts, uh, caraform malt, smoked malt, and hops. Um, this over here, just in case it pops, because you never know with a. Uh... Did you shake the shit out of that thing first? No. There we go. Nice pink. Champagne. What's the ABV on this? 10-2. That's why there's not much head. It's clear, but it's dark. Yeah, that's a beautiful ruby color. Ruby red. There you go. Oh, it's a little bit of head. Oh, mm. I love me some scotch ales. This smells so good. good. Does Van me? vanilla? Are you copying me? <laughs> you copying me? Bitch. Vanilla, butterscotch, molasses, caramel. A little bit of roastiness. Tiny touch of smoke. You know, if Allie keeps doing reviews, we're gonna have to give her a, a review, a reviewer name. Just be here three times. Get a name. Oh, that's not hard. I don't know. You always say That's you're coming and you never come. <laughs> oh God! Um, Around me, no. My bad. Yeah, I love I love that Werther's original scent coming off there. That nice butterscotch. I love oh. that. I love that caramel. That molasses. You know what's funny when nice Chad vanilla. when Chad describes something, you start smelling it as he's describing it. It's perfect. That's what it's. Yeah, it's so true. Because it's so hard to describe it yourself until because he's done so many reviews that yeah. you go. You know what? He's fucking right. I smell that. I do smell that. Let's try yeah. it. I'm excited. Cheers. I'm excited that this is going to smell better than it tastes. Cheers. We'll see what happens. Let's, let's hope. Did I get you? Yeah, you got me. Right, okay, let's cheers. I'm just looking at myself on your shirt. <laughs> no, that's Donald Trump. Game over, bitches. Let's see what I thought it was. Uh, his hair's not orange. No, his face is orange. His hair's orange. That's a beautiful, beautiful scotch ale. And again, that beautiful butterscotch flavor, a little bit of molasses, some uh, some caramelized sugars, a little bit of an earthy, earthy, oaky, tannic back end. I taste everything you just said, except for the burn. The burn I don't like. See, I'm not picking up much. There is a little bit of alcohol astringency, but it's the same as the first one we did. It's just kind of warmth in the throat, Lovely. not an actual taste. I think this is beautiful. I don't think it's 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 quoting Guy a very very dangerous beer because you can feel the alcohol, but at the same time you can't taste it, so it's kind of it kind of is a scary beer in that aspect because you could chug it back and you just get a little bit of warmth in your chest. Like I'm just gonna. Oh, he's doing shots. Like he just did a triple. Uh oh. Uh oh. Like this is a beautiful beautiful beer. And yeah, the oak comes through. The oak is just this little tannic uh, bitterness on the back end. The vanilla comes through from the bourbon barrel. Molasses. Uh, it says there's smoked malt in here, and I'm not really tasting any smokiness. There was a little touch of it on the scent, but I, are either of you t tasting any smokiness? No, uh, what I'm tasting is a lot of sugar in this. Tons of sugar. And molasses, I, I'm getting that... Is it molasses kind of like a sugar? Yeah, it's a very thick, fucking creamy, disgusting sugar. Actually, this no, was a $16 beer at Brouhaha. 
That's not bad. Is that We're, a That's seven fifty. Uh, seven fifty barrel age. That's uh, that's probably close to average. I mean, it's probably expensive when you're figuring he's buying it in Quebec, but in Ontario, that would that would be pretty average. Why Quebec is cheaper? Quebec has less uh, liquor taxes. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, I get a lot of sugar. I get some caramel. I get a lot of molasses off this. Well, Scotch I'm ale will usually be very burn. sweet. You're not going to get a hoppy note out of this. You're just no, going to get the sweet all. maltiness. And you're getting that on this. Like, I'm, I love the way this is. I lo I'm going to give this a 925. I love this beer. He loves it. I Chad, love it. Chad loves, loves the it. The albino rhino loves this beer. Just do it again. One shot. In the basement? Again? Uh-oh. Yeah. Take trying it to take down. advantage of me? No, Chad. I'm just... You're you trying to get him to take advantage of me? Well, if that's going to happen, it's going to happen. You're going to fall Goddamn right. Ew. <laughs> you got a stand. You don't need me. Yeah, that's right. You got the tripod. <laughs> I want to get a tripod dolly. For me. What's that for, right? No. You, what you can do is you can buy fucking wheels and attach them to. To what? To the bottom of the dolly. He wants a tripod dolly. This guy's crazy. Anyway, what? Ali, what do you say out of 10 on this beer? I'm going to give it an, an 8.5. I really like it, but I feel like after I drink a few glasses, I'd be... You'd be well, one, up. you yeah. would be fucked up. Well, Two, yeah. it's so sweet you might wake up with a hangover. That's what I'm saying. That's not a good feeling for me. Hmm. And craft beer is a weird thing because it doesn't have all the additives in it that macro beer has. So you either wake up feeling much better than you would, or because of how much more alcohol is in a lot of them, you wake up feeling much worse. There's no in between. No, there really? there really is no in between. I've woken up after being drunk out of my mind and been perfectly fine from craft beer, and I've woken up being feeling like I'm dying from craft beer. But you drink the same amount of macro beer, even though it's lower ABV. I always wake up feeling like I'm about to die. It's all the additives. Anyway, my answer to this out of ten, I'm going to give this a seven. For me, it's just above average for me. Uh, would I buy it? Probably not. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I like my course light. No, I, I don't care either way. Uh, thank you, YouTube. Uh, I guess I'm going to chug my third one. Bye. Chug it. And he just did. Bye.